5 August 2022 from Africa to Asia and Latin America. The entire global south is rising up as one to cast off the US new imperial chains once and for all. Russian media is actively reporting on their respective struggles and showing everyone that they aren't alone, but rather are each playing their own role in their home regions in pursuit of the collective goal of liberating the entire world via the global revolution. Now this is an interesting little piece of information and it's something that we should take note of. It is quite clear that the rest of the world is done with the imperialistic colonial bully tactics of the so-called collective West. And then we get this from Latvia. EU should ban all Russians from entry to bloc, Latvian Foreign Minister. The Foreign Minister Edgar Rinkevics has accused Russia of shelling a detention center in Donetsk People's Republic and called on the EU to suspend tourist visas for Russian citizens. Latvia has recently proposed a range of hardline measures against Moscow, including forcing ordinary Russians to denounce their government. Rinkovics also called on the EU to impose a tourist visa ban on Russian citizens. Latvia has already enacted such a ban, as have several Eastern European states, including Poland. Well, Latvia is really looking for shit that could have stayed home. That country is only there because Russia allows it to function as an independent country. And look, listen to this nonsense. This shelling that he's talking about has been proven that it has been done by the Ukrainians. But yet, he shoots his mouth off. And then we go more to the heart of Europe. A sudden escalation has taken place between Serbia and Kosovo in recent hours as armed clashes have taken place between Serbs and Albanians in the region. Air raid sirens have been sounding for one and a half hours in Mitrovica. That is totally uncalled for. And it is quite clear that the US has got a hand in this. They are stirring shit with Serbia because Serbia does not want to take up an anti-Russian position. Kosovo will apply for EU membership by the end of this year, Foreign Minister Donika Karvela said on Tuesday. The EU has taken on four new countries as candidates in the recent weeks. We think that Kosovo meets all the prerequisites to be grant, granted official candidate status and therefore by the end of the year we will choose the appropriate moment when we will also formally submit this application. Now I'm going to do a skid mark on this later. But the reality, what this person is saying here, I cannot understand how the Europeans think they are going to see their future. There are countries there that does not deserve to be independent countries. Kosovo is a small little offcut from Serbia. Serbia. The question I have is, can Kosovo sustain itself? In other words, does it earn enough money and revenue internally to finance that government and finance the services to its citizens? And from where I'm sitting, the answer is no, and it depends heavily on donations from other me members of the EU. This country cannot be seen as a country. The minister added that Kosovo has already implemented most of the EU's framework for stabilization and free trade in the Balkans and she expects a separate application to join the Council of Europe to proceed swiftly as the territory meets all the prerequisites in terms of legislation, human rights, democratic standards and rule of law. I do not understand this. This country cannot exist unless it is financed from outside. It's not a country. Kosovo delays crackdown on Serbs. Authorities in the breakaway Serbian province of Kosovo announced late on Sunday they would postpone the implementation of their ban on Serbian license plates and identification documentation until September 1. Here is it again. This is not a country. This is a breakaway province. The first test 
for a country to be independent must be if that country can sustain itself. And the EU as a unit is bankrupt. We know it. They are in a deep economic crisis and by the end of this year you will see bankruptcies not like in businesses. Countries are going to struggle because their economies is crashing. But these guys, they want to be big and strong. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.